<laughs> I've had enough of all of you. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you later. I think we've had enough of you, buddy. Yeah? All right. Full stale. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't start it any other way. But if you weren't aware, Jesse and I are at the World Juniors. Basically, we found out about a really weird rule, and we thought we'd kind of walk you through it with something we love to do, which is locker room tours. Oh yeah. The rule is basically that they do a locker room draft every year at the World Juniors. Imagine you have your fantasy draft, but like World Juniors management is sitting there, uh -huh. like, like they're looking at locker rooms, scouting out, seeing who could be the sleeper pick for this year. So, so Corn, how is the order determined for the rooms? So it's based on the standings from last World Juniors. This year, Norway just got promoted. They're last. Nine, Latvia. So Latvia. <laughs> eight, Germany. Seven, Swiss. Six, Slovakia. Five, Finland. Four, USA. That's the surprising one here yeah. because USA, obviously, you don't, you kind of forget, oh, they, they won the bronze medal game, but it was Czechia and the gold that yeah. actually. And then there's the host country that gets first dibs. Exactly. Yeah. So Sweden actually lost to the US in the bronze yeah. medal game. But because they're the host country, you're about to see, because Czechia is third, Canada is second, and the host country gets the first pick. Sweden's getting first pick in Scandinavium, and Czechia is getting first pick in Frohlunderberg. Let's start going through this. We're gonna start at the bottom here. And there's just a massive Norwegian flag on the door. Yeah, Norwegian flag. You got the sticks outside, which is something that I think some teams probably wouldn't want, but when you, when you have limited space at the 10th overall pick, you, you're gonna make do with what you can. When I was 10 years old, had my favorite stick ever stolen after leaving it outside the room. Some interesting tape jobs, nothing too crazy, but let's get into the room. 10th overall pick, kind of laughing at that. It, it's small, but like at least you have like individual wooden cubbies. Like, you know, it's like we're doing with beer league here where like you're just on a bench and you don't, you don't have anywhere to put your personal belongings. Like this is a pretty nice room still. Some don't have, like they have these skate hangers above the stalls. It's a nice setup where they're like not in your way at your feet. And, yeah. Uh, it's, it just kind of keeps the whole room looking a little bit cleaner. It's a polar bear. It's a wow. Churchill, Manitoba, polar bear <laughs> capital of the world. Not a big deal. Go I don't know anymore. It might be Norway with how much they're embracing this thing. It's a nice room, man. Yeah. Like, this, like, there is nothing, like I would be more than happy if I, I was given this room to I think it was a great value pick. They've got they, <laughs> value. You know, it, it, it's a decent shower area. It's a small shower space too. Some of the teams really improvise with ice baths because everybody wants one, but uh, they pretty much have like a. It looks like they went and grabbed a garbage yeah. bin and made the entire. Is Oscar the Grouch in the that thing? <laughs> Just in, an, in a bathing suit? Yeah. They get like a little trainer area, which again, pretty small, not much to it. So I, I think they're they're probably feeling pretty cramped. But at the last overall pick. You'll take that value. You're yeah. laughing at that value. You're laughing yeah. at that value. Howling, maybe even giggling. We're heading over to Scandinavian for the ninth overall pick. What the off. <laughs> this is a tiny locker room. If you're in that corner, that back right corner, like right there near the sticks. So they've got their massage table out here. We didn't even see a massage table for for Norway. Oh, yeah. But like if you'll see some of these other rooms, like they've got full yeah. like physiotherapy rooms where setups where yeah. these doctors are kind of like keeping these guys in the best shape they can. Obviously, they're still doing it and the teams are still like yeah. able to make it happen and it's not really that big a difference. Like again, talking about draft, drafting locker rooms here. It's yeah, not exactly. the ma most- You know what though, man? At the same time, like a good locker room will help you get into the right mental space for a tournament like this. It, it probably has more of an impact on the players than like a lot of people would give it credit for. They spend a lot of time here. This is one of the few rooms without skate hooks on the top. So they, all their skates are sitting along the bottom of yeah. their stalls. So it's, again, it's just a, a little less room to move around. If you're trying not to step on logos here, like it's a tighter space. You, you gotta be a little more careful. I think I like Norway's room more than this one. I agree. Yeah. Good then showers. We're hitting the showers, yeah. Good and showers. pretty tight space for the showers you're looking yeah. at. The, the, you're, you're thinking like, okay, like only having three guys in there, obviously, that means you're taking longer to get uh, everybody out of the locker room. So that's just kind of yeah. making your entire day longer. Their skate sharpening and kind of like stick adjustments, whatever, is all done just in the hallway out here. Number eight, we're going with Germany. No no skate racks up top. They've, they've got all their skates chilling down at the bottom here. Honestly, it's not gonna be a room too dissimilar from Latvia, but they took me into their trainer room off to the side. This is amazing. Athletics trainer. <laughs> they get, Those uh, are the Christmas gifts of our, uh, yeah, fitness coach. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Those are me to hang from hooks. No way, that's yeah. so funny. So the way that we saw the table in the Latvian room, 
the Germans are they're kind of able to keep all that stuff in the other room yeah. and then leave the main locker room. Oh, gee, there's a nice back. <laughs> kind of nice, eh? Kind of nice. They have a couple cool goalie masks. Pretzel and a beer? Pretzel and a beer on the back. You got I barely want enough out of beer. <laughs> in Germany, probably not. Another good speaker system here, which we got to see the use of when they beat Finland. I still like Norway's more than both of the ones we just saw, I think. I'm with you. One of the Swiss, fully Swiss hockey bags. That's sick. With one thing that's interesting is obviously, so they've got this big room here, but. They have to separate. They have to separate. The goalies are in one room, and then this is the this is the other that is like a bigger space. So I think when you look at this, like, I don't know, that's kind of a bummer to me, like to have some of the players separated in, in an area that like you, you really want to unite You want to be with the boys. Yeah. With the boys. They've got these treasure chests full of just like stuff you need, snacks, little, uh, water if you want to spray your visor. Typical stuff for taping your sticks. Again, another inflatable ice bath. I think uh, their showers here are kind of, these are pretty roomy showers, I would say. They got two ice baths in it. They've got a great spot to like kind of do physio and stuff. It's like, it's not like, it's not like Norway's not doing that. It's just that they probably have to take up some of the space that would normally be used yeah. for just a locker. They're, this is where they're sharpening skates and working on sticks, maybe fixing and skate cool. holders. Hey, this is actually a cool little area. Yeah. Slovakia. Third pick at for Lundeberg, sixth pick overall. I like this door entrance. They've got the sticks inside the room, like you said, not getting not getting them stolen, and bang. They've got a pretty great space. I'm like, yeah, this, this is probably the best room you've seen. Yeah, I like, and like, again, they've got a separate space to do the physiotherapy. They've got a great big shower. Uh, they have like this, this is what they give as player of the game. It's like this stick with this puck on it. Oh. <laughs> Definitely one of the nicer rooms we've seen so far. And then there's Finland where we were able to be together through this one. Fifth overall pick, Finland. Pretty, uh, pretty toy in here. It's a little toy, but it's cozy. First thing you notice, my boy, Timu Salani. These jerseys? Always deliver. So sick. Do not step. I think the smallest skates I've ever seen. Nice little detail inside one of the players' lockers. All the players' lockers, actually. They all use these neck guards, and Finland has been using these neck guards for quite some time now. You know, Patty Line has always been using that. But all the teams are wearing them this year, so Finland just send the standard. And of course, the lovely stick rack. Probably some of the nicer arena showers. You'll see for like a visiting room. And in the room right beside, this is where the magic happens. And when I say magic, I mean, this is where you can get like snacks and refuel and stuff like that. I'm for kidding. The record, he put it back. It's bad, it's going back. Oh, wow, there's even more showers over here. That is great value right there. <laughs> that is great value with those showers. <laughs> that guy was out. Oh electric in the shootout. We've got a disagreement on what UC Oakman's most famous shootout move is, so we're deciding. Oh. oh. Okay, yeah, so there's that one, but then... Oh. That's the one. Oh, oh do you have the arm thing? Why don't beds just come like this? Like, wouldn't it be nice if you were to sleep like this too? Two sets of showers. Yeah. Pretty nice. Now, this is one, this is the controversial part here because nine teams in this video were fully cooperative and said, you know what, yeah, for sure, come see our locker room. We'd love to show off like what we've set up and everything. Team USA, will pass. Yeah. They didn't get the best locker room even at their rink, right? So I, I wonder if it's just something where they don't want to show that off in association with USA Hockey. You'll see here they've kind of like, they're set up in the hallway like a lot where they don't have a lot of extra space. They've got all their equipment stuff out here. So when you walk into like the rink hallways, they're kind of right out there and then you see the room. Great, great players on this US team, by the way. Just great personalities. Obviously yeah. it's such a good team that I think we both think they'll probably win the tournament. To not want to show off some of their personalities a little more is, yeah. is it'd be good for the game. Grow the game, you Absolutely. know? As much as they wouldn't let us in the locker room, like they post videos on Twitter. Obviously they've got their big whiteboard kind of up front. That, all those cool logos too. Yeah, they give out this like Viking helmet type thing as their like player of the game is that thing. the Iceman? Yeah. The yeah. Iceman. It's nothing special in terms of a room. I think it does feel similar to kind of some of the ones at the, in the lower end of this where like yeah. they, they've got the, the skate racks up top. It's like not a massive space. You can see they're, they're probably a little crammed in there in terms of what they're used to. So some teams too at for Lundberg have to go out, I'm pretty sure, through where the Zamboni leaves the ice. 
USA does not have to. They can just go from yes. the bench straight to the dressing room, which, which is, is maybe I, why I, they ended up choosing this. Yeah, room it's over a some huge, it's a huge plus. It's just a little easier, you know. Obviously, yeah, you, they've got team slogans around there. The one big thing I think you'll notice when you get into the because the next pick is Czechia, which is yeah. the team who had first overall pick at this rink, and it's things like space, uh, TVs. So let's get to that where you'll see maybe why USA probably probably would have wanted this other locker room, even if they still had to be at this rink. So this is like, for Londonburg, the the like men's team, it's their old rink, and the women's team plays there now, and a couple other teams, but this is kind of the main locker room, the main home locker room yeah. they have. Right away, you know, this is Czechia's locker room. You're walking in, they've got this like, great little locker space that we've seen some of the other rooms that are like, yeah where you're walking in and maybe the, like the physio room is set up there where it's just kind of these open lockers, there's a bunch of stuff everywhere. This is like, you've got your nice cubbies set up where like you'll go around that you see they actually have like all their names or you got all the sticks on the left and just look at this gorgeous room. This, is room. this space, they've got a TV at the front. If, if your coach wants to build in some kind of like interactive part of how they want to game plan or- This is a legit room. This is like a this legit a, home. Like this is like meant to be the nicest room in an arena. And tons of space. They've got a big island in the middle for all their snacks and all these different things. I just think that this is ideal. Yeah. I, I don't think you can... You can't pass up on this. This is, this is the golden ticket for, for one of them. Yeah. Toss around the, yeah, they can toss that thing around in the locker room. That's how much space there is. You know, Lavia, not going to be able to throw a football in nope. the room. It's <laughs> just, you're basically from here to yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy in the corner is just like, ow, oh, my elbow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this doll is. And I asked like the team equipment guy, he's like, I have no idea. <laughs> so I got the showers where if you're comparing this to the rest of Rolandenburg, like they've got like the ones, the handles that you can take off the, yeah, the yeah. side. and Still though, man, for like a good pro Swedish rink, I kind of would have expected better shower space. Then look at this. This is like this whole communal space is pretty much there. So like yeah, it's yeah. one thing if you got the games on in the room, but this is also where like guys are chilling outside and just able to hang out together, Not which sure. is kind of nice. Like to have that whole space be yours rather than like again we saw the USA one where it's like a pretty tight hallway where like nobody's hanging out in that yeah. hallway. And now wow, the moment we've all been waiting for. Team Canada's locker room. Who gets kind of dogged in this? The home team gets to choose their locker room first, so. They get the third best room, technically, right? They yeah. Get the cause, second best in their own room. Yeah, like it's, again, we'll see it. It's actually pretty nice. So yeah. like, I'll be interested to see which one you would take out of these two. We actually got a tour from their equipment manager, Chris yeah. Cook, more affectionately known as Cookie. Uh, <laughs> Typical hockey nickname, but uh, he actually kind of gave us a tour around the space. Welcome to the Canada locker room here in Sweden. As you come in, here we have our uh, tournament schedule, some uh, some life postings, some motivational pieces. <laughs> we have our sticks here all lined up. Each guy's got a, you know, their generic club sticks or their Canada sticks that are provided by the companies. Yeah. He's got a lot of attention for his Yeah, he's got, uh, <laughs> he's got a lot of attention for sure. Here we have our, uh, our therapy, our medical, our doctor's clinics. Uh, it's also our change room slash our goalie room. Hockey Canada implemented a, uh, you know, a dressing room policy, so they were, uh, they were all gifted robes this year. Be walking around. Oh, yeah. Around, just... <laughs> the Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so is it you get the goalies have to get ready in here, right? Yeah, the goalies get ready here just because, as you'll see from our, our main dressing room, that it's it just doesn't hold enough players because we have 23 on the roster. So these guys have all the most equipment, so we give them the most room. All right, now we're going into the main main locker room, main dressing room. And as you can see, it's it's neat and tidy, but yet narrow and tight. So, yeah, I mean, it, I think, you know, it's self-explanatory, right? We don't, nobody plays for themselves. We're, we're a family, we're one team. Uh, you know, we, we play for the community, we play for the country, and, uh, you know, every, everybody's included. So in here we have our, uh, our, our cafe brought together by our uh, strength coach, Sean Young. You know, we have our coffee stations, we got our food stations, uh, the, uh, you know the, the shake drinks and all the all the drinks, the bio steals and, and, and whatnot to, to get the the um, the players in order. We have our uh, 
little cold tub here that oh, a couple go. of the guys use during the game, post game, pre game, and uh, on game nights we have a special uh, charcuterie for the uh, for the staff. <laughs> <laughs> That's stuff, thank you. Half the guys went out that way last night. Wow. So Get guys right are the parking lot. <laughs> wow. direct access yeah. through the back. I mean, we were initially saying Sweden's might be the best. That that kind of adds up there. Yeah, right? Nothing better than leaving early, right? Oh. And then, <laughs> to avoid the meteor. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should get out of here too. I've had, I've had enough of all of you. Okay? <laughs> we'll see you later. I think we've had enough of you, buddy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> they've got. They, it's similar to the downside that we said for the Swiss team, where they've got to have their goalies in the other room. But. They have the escape door, which is the most important thing for any dressing room you ever go in. You need that. <laughs> that is very sick. And and we'd see like uh like kind of most nights after games or whatever, they'd kind of have it cracked open and just be kind of like so maybe someone's hanging out there just to like yeah. cool cool down a yeah, bit too, man, even. That's the thing, like if it's really warm in the room, you crack it open, that actually be a really nice way to get some air circulation going. Because that's one thing when you're in a dressing room actually sometimes that it's, it's like so hot. You're so sweaty, you feel exhausted. You're like, I need some air right now. It's kind of sick they've got like, they, they gave them all robes. I know they were saying mm -hmm. Hockey Canada's done that thing where like people can't be naked in the locker rooms basically yeah. anymore. It's cool that they are like, cause some, a lot of people were kind of upset by it, I guess, which is a weird thing. Cause it's like, they're just trying to protect kids yeah. realistically. But it's, it's cool to see it embrace from a top down mentality. Cause obviously yeah. like, I'm sure that it makes it easier for people to accept where like hey like it's a rule you got, everyone has to follow them. Yeah. yeah and they gave them these sick robes so yeah <laughs> like, yeah sure, sure. saying just uh, I'm, yeah they were for sure just rocking around take, in the locker room take that home after like and, yeah and, and now for the final room is it's very far from the rink i w i did the walk with them it takes a full two minutes to wow. get from uh where they are and they have to wear skate guards because they walk by oh. a big concrete area so there's like there's this funny little thing where they set up all these skate guards yeah. like perfectly for them to do after. Let's see the room. So you walk in, this is kind of where the players are coming in and they've all got like individual cubbies where they can hang up their stuff. And then we'll walk into the locker room and this thing is gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, tons of space. Sandy Pelica, wow. had unreal overtime the goal too. They, they've, they've got everything in this room. On the actual steel, they had like the Swedish flag, the showers. And look at this, right away they've got like an unreal ice bath. A couple of nice ones. Yeah, most official one we've seen in the place so far, obviously. Rainfall showers, which is like, that's what you're getting at like a sick hotel. And <laughs> they've got it in their locker room. Yeah. They, they've got some personal photos in their stalls set up too, which is kind of a nice touch to be able to have that. This was their kind of player of the game yeah. uh, thing was the fireman's helmet. But he was also telling me that they also have, it wasn't there at the time, but they had uh, they have something that's basically, it's like a shovel yeah. that they give out. So they give out the helmet for the best player of the game. And then I think the best player of the game gives out the shovel, which is wow. for the hardest working player oh, of the nice. game. So these guys have everything they could possibly need in this yeah. locker room. Lounge that, area. Yeah, exactly. A whole lounge area that people can chill. Just a massive, great room. We've got obviously the physical therapy area, which these guys have their own space. This whole hallway is like just for their sticks and stick stuff. So like when they're taping there, it's a totally separate room. Like it's, they've just got a crazy amount of space in this one. So they're like, not lacking stuff. Yeah. And this is how they kind of walk out of the room. So they'd go from there through the stick room. And then this is where they're starting on that journey that I was talking about. That's about two minutes to the actual rink because this is the practice rink. This is the concrete that they actually have to walk on basically when you get there that's that's where canada's room is that's how much longer they have to walk but once they're in the game they have another room oh, where so, like so between, periods they, between periods they go to this one so that they don't have to walk all the way See, back man, I, like, I feel like that's just kind of a hassle i don't know which one i'd want out of them like it is yeah. a it's an interesting decision you'd have to make but that's all our rooms that's the weird rules at the iihf what's your value pick check is is i think they potentially got the best room yeah, don't sleep on Norway, man. But all about good value at number 10. <laughs> Which room are you taking 10 over then? Over Latvia's room and Germany's room. Yeah, so you think like they got good value by being in group yeah. B. That's it. All right, man. Amazing.